questions are getting lined Ooh, up over there. Let's open up the vault. Yeah, so first top secret is the... What is it? It's the Cutie Pico. No, it's the Cutie yeah. Pie RP2040. Boy, it was like, I couldn't fit this in single-sided, of course. It just, it fits, it just, there's no way to fit it. But I did fit it in a double-sided board. The RP2040 and Flash and Crystal on the bottom and on the top, USB-C. Two buttons, because it needs one for bootloading and one for resetting. Um, stomach UT connector and all the pads you expect. It's castellated, even though I don't know how much sense that makes. But I want to stay consistent. Um, I guess you could cut a hole in your PCB and you could still you know, mount it somehow. The castellations don't show up in this rendering, um, but I think that could be cool. Uh, one thing I did is the uh, Stemic UT connector is a separate uh, I2C port than the one that's broken out. So you actually get 10 pins, uh, 12 pins, not 10. So bonus two pins. All right, next up. Next up, uh, this is just a weird idea. You know, people are like, oh, the Raspberry Pi is like the Pico. It's kind of the same size as the Zero. And I'm like, well, what happens if I just put the Pico on a zero, right? So it can like maybe use shields and like, or it could use Raspberry Pi bonnets and hats and stuff. So I kind of routed all the pins around and like, I think it might work. Um, there's not a lot of space left over and I had to get rid of one mounting hole, but there's like a battery charger on there and a STEMI QT and, and the Pico itself just gets soldered directly on. And I thought it'd be cool to try to do selective, or sorry, selective surface belt soldering because it comes castellated. All right. And then uh, this was a... Uh, Bonus. Yeah, this was the Freebie. Pico Zero schematic. And then this was something else you were working oh, on. Oh, no. So those two things, th this and the previous thing, that's yeah. the uh, Feather RP2040. So people were like, they wanted to get started with this chip, and they're yeah. like, well, I don't have one. So I said, hey, here's a design that I know works. It's the the Feather. This is now the Revision B. It's yeah. all tested. And is this the schematic that you released with that? Oh, no, sorry. That is the Zero. Yeah. So I this, can barely see this font. Is no, this I know. I put, the, I put this and this in the same folder, and I, then this is the latest option. Sorry. Yeah. It, you know what? Like, the, all the schematics look the same now. So, uh, sorry. This is the, the Feather. So the Feather we're going to release, but I also published the board files and schematic up on GitHub. Just search for RP2040 in our GitHub repo. Um, and you can, well, you can make the Feather if you want, if you can get chips, but... I thought this would be a good a work point for people making their own designs. You can import this into KiCad. You can use an Eagle CAD as is. Uh, take away everything you don't want. Keep the basics and then uh, design your own board off of it. All right. And that's top secret. Back in the vault with you. All right. Bye.